All right, we're back here for the final question for Rex Tubbs, owner, proprietor of the Engraving Connection in beautiful downtown Plymouth. Rex, here's my question. No small business can be successful without the people that they hire. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you look for when you're hiring a person to help you be successful in your business? I have to say that probably the biggest thing is their attitude. Attitude. As a, as a person. Are they outgoing? Uh, are they friendly? Hmm. Um, do they uh, um, do they engage with with other people? Mm -hmm. With my business, it's important they need to know how to spell. Oh, I can imagine. Yes, it's huge. Mm -hmm. uh, they also need to know how to type. Mm -hmm. And um, and and how do we uh, go about that? I literally give a battery of tests. Now I'll have my initial interview, mm -hmm. and uh, there'll be a second interview. Where, in essence, I have tests for uh, spelling tests. Wow. I have um, kind of a psychological profile. Mm -hmm. Another thing is I kind of look at the history of, uh, of jobs. If they've gone through a, a whole series of jobs in a fairly short period of time, mm -hmm. they're going to do the same thing with you. Mm -hmm. They're just going to be there a short time, burn out, and then head out. Okay. So you're looking at their job history. Mm -hmm. You're looking at a couple of other things. Their attitude, most yeah. important, it sounds like. Also, the idea of whether they can spell, yep. uh, whether they are uh, conscientious about what they do, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Another thing is I have them uh, actually go back and engrave something hmm. in the store, mm -hmm. because it isn't all that difficult you know, okay. to do. But it's not necessarily that they're engraving something, mm -hmm. is I want them, to, I have my other employees there, and so there's a little talk you know, going on mm -hmm. like this. I want to see how they relate to each other. Okay. If you have a bad bad fit mm -hmm. with employees personality-wise, I want to pick up on that very quickly. So do you ask your other employees what they thought about that individual? Not too much here. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing is, okay, hey, uh, I'm putting that person into a situation. I'm backing off. Mm -hmm. So they have a question they have to ask okay. one of the other employees. Mm -hmm. And then kind of interact, and so I, you know, my employees, you know, know that you know, that's kind of what I'm up to. So sure. you know, they're in there, and, and now they're, sort of, they're basically checking out: Do I like this person or not? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other things, once in a while, I'll, I'll go in. It's uh, I'll kind of do a rapid fire with uh, with some. Okay, do this, do this, do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there might be about three steps out from what I've already told them to do. Oh, okay. Okay, can they actually do it? <laughs> mm -hmm. So how how many times do you interview the person? Usually about. Um, um, two times is, okay. is a standard, mm -hmm. and then I make a point of um, sitting out for at least a, one or two days, let them sweat it out a little okay. bit. Do you no, I want to make sure that they really want to go to work for me okay. or not. Okay, that makes sense. Now, do you check the references? Oh, yeah. So you yeah. call the any questions yeah. that you ask the uh, person who's they're, they're asking to you. I'll tell you problems? what, what I'm really doing now is um, I find you know, are they on Facebook? Or mm -hmm. something like this. Hmm. Okay, I just gonna go in and check check them out there, um, and then you know once in a while I'll do you know the traditional you know call up the reference like this. But mm -hmm. those are all people prearranged that they sure. had. So yeah, I really don't put that much on. Mm -hmm. I get a lot more information out of you know checking out you know um, you know their social life on, hmm. because it's it's all there. It's an open book. Well, all right. Well, Rex, let's uh, wrap it up here. If there is anything you wanted to share with someone uh, who was in business for some time now, looking to get to the next level, what would it be that you'd tell them to, one thing, that you'd tell them to do that they would, would help them move to that next level of success in their small business? I'd say the biggest thing is you know, have a um, network of uh, friends, but you really need some other people that are uh, like minds, uh, independent business people that you that you uh, work with and, okay. and our friends and network. And that's where I kind of come back to a mastermind type uh, situation where, hey, I got this idea, I want to bounce on and let, let them tear you down. Okay. And then, uh, and then maybe build you up or says, well, hey, you take, you know, take your idea, I think if you try this, wow. it'll work a little different way of looking at things. Okay. And uh, you can be a lot more successful, a lot faster. Okay. And it's called mastermind, you know, okay. Napoleon Hill. Yes. Read the book. Read the book, all right, excellent. Well, Rex, I want to say thank you so much for being on our program today, and i got to believe that our listeners, our viewers, are picking up some ideas that can help make their business even more successful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome.